hello everyone welcome back to my channel uh, today to continue with the scorpio season i'm going to be reading for stray kids uh lino um so yes he is the scorpio of the group so yes uh let's do this reading um and also i know that he's back because you know i i i, I had heard about him having uh, a, a, an accident uh, with other members. Um, I believe they were in a, in a taxi or in a van. I I I don't know much. I don't remember much of the details. I know it wasn't that serious, but nevertheless, it was an accident. So uh, I'm glad that he's back. So yeah, let's see what the tarot have to say about him. You know what he he has available, what this Scorpio season is bringing for him. So yes, let's do this. Um, we start with the card of the Fool, the Eight of Pentacles, Four of Pentacles, Four of Swords, and Nine of Pentacles. Uh, and then from the oracles we got the card of uh, mercury in libra influence and from the oracle of the chakras he got the card of forgiveness so yeah mm. definitely with the full card um i believe that um there's something about starting over um Literally, I think that since it, this is a major arcana, I think that it's it's very it's a very meaningful card. Um, uh, probably after what happened, uh, because I don't know what. While I was pulling the cards, I got this strong feeling that I don't feel like he's not okay. I think that he is okay, but. Um, he still has to recover like I, I think that something something changed after the accident I think that something changed in him um, and he probably needs more time to recover I would say mentally because um, um, and no, so honestly I don't think that's possible because I see a lot of pentacles in here so I see that probably when it comes to work obligation responsibilities and a lot of things that has to do with work uh, is going to be very present these months for him um, I don't know if the group is having a comeback I believe someone mentioned something about this so there's something about him working and getting back to practice and practice and practice and him also getting very sensitive about details you know about okay I want to get this right um, I have to remember this you know him getting a bit obsessive I would say um, but definitely this 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 that happened has sort of like reset him um i think that something changed after the accident in him and and in this i don't know if it's about the cards or what but i have this strong feeling that that um probably he got scared like there, there's something about him in that moment like being afraid or just very um very shook very very sh like like going through some some shock uh feeling very shook um but definitely with all these pentacles in here i think that they definitely act acted very fast when it comes to taking care of them and doing what is necessary for them to be better but I think that it affected like his mind, you know, it's, it's not so much about his body or where his body hurts. It's more about um, maybe the impression that was left in him. Um, I think that for him, he could have a bit of uh, like... Um, like some kind of side effect to this situation of feeling a bit fearful at first, like or having some kind of phobia. 
uh, because of this, you know, being fearful to certain situations. It's just that because everything, his agenda is so full and everything is going to be like, okay, you have to go back uh, to activities and everything. And him also being very, very stubborn and him also like, like denying to rest, like being like, no, yeah, I want to go back to work. Um, I think that probably his mind is the only one that is giving like signs that probably he is dispersed or he is having trouble concentrating, you know, that he's not 100% recovered. And I think that it has to do with his mind. Probably he gets a bit um, like distracted, like there's something about him being a bit disconnected from time to time. Um, or just feeling uncomfortable, you know, uncomfortable. But um, when it comes to his body, I believe that his body is very strong, that his body is recovering well, but probably he got scared, you know, he, he this was um, a very shocking situation. I don't know how this accident, you know, I, I, don't, I don't know details, of course, that, you know, there shouldn't be like details. This is something that happened to them, like, you know, like let's not get morbid but I think that even though it you know it may not have been like something like like you know severe there's something about his mind stopping in that moment like him dissociating from what happened so it caught up with him later or it left a feeling inside of him I don't know um also, I believe that also with all these pentacles, I think that he probably is holding on very tight to go back to routines because there's something about him wanting to get back to a routinary system so he can feel less anxious. So he can feel like, okay, I'm going to go back to my routine. I'm going to go back to my schedules. This is what I do. This is how I do things, you know, to sort of hold on to this sense of reality. Um, but yeah, um, with the eight of pentacles and the four of, you know, the thing that, that actually caught my attention the most is this four of, of pentacles that I have in the middle. Because definitely I can see that, that Lino in nature, it's a very hardworking person. Definitely all these cards in here is like, it's about him, you know, slowly recovering and slowly like trusting again, you know, slowly opening up again. But we have the card of open up in here. And definitely the four of pentacles is not a card that indicates that you are willing to open up. Actually, it, it the card is here, the keyword is open up, but actually it's like a sort of advice that it would give you like an advice to open up. But actually the four of pentacles in the traditional tarot, it shows someone holding on very tight to something, to something that is like, okay, yeah, this is the way I know it. This is the way I do it. Like I cannot let it go. So I think that here with the four of pentacles, there's something about him getting caught in a sort of situation. Maybe for him, it was traumatic. Maybe something happened prior to the accident. I don't know. Um, I don't think it's emotional because I don't see cards that indicate that he is uh, emotionally involved, but probably he, probably his body has a still like some sensations or some memory of what happened. And, and he's like, I feel him very rigid. I feel him like a bit fearful. Um, so, Definitely, I think that it, whatever happened, it got stuck in his unconscious and he needs to let it go. And for him to do this, actually, he needs to be in an environment that is stress-free. Um, in an environment here with the four of swords, I believe that he would need a little bit more of time to heal properly. Most of all, most of all, to, to be able to heal his mind, to be able to heal his psyche, his, uh, um, you know, to rest a bit more. But I don't think that that's possible right now because then we have the Nine of Pentacles. So definitely, uh, Stray Gids is working on something very important, something very meaningful for them, uh, probably something that 
that they already have like the, the the recordings they already shoot the video and everything like they have all the all the things already settled but they need they need him to be at his best when it comes to presence when it comes to showing up and to show this sort of like this very um prideful energy you know when you feel very proud of yourself or when you have this attitude of loving yourself very much you know and, and and this attitude of like okay yeah we made it we are uh this comeback is going to be huge or this is this is very anticipated and i feel like i'm in the top at the top of the world you know something like this you know and definitely a lot of um very joyful and and probably stray kids is going to get a lot of recognition lino as well but I think that for him inside, there's something with this force that I think that for him probably mentally is going to take a while for him to get back to be his usual self. There's something with him. There's something with him that is like, I would say that he's a bit slowed down, that his energy is not that excited like he usually is or is not that optimistic i would say he's a bit absent i would say he's a bit like like he's sort of like obsessed with making things look like nothing has changed but there's something that had changed and probably the fans notice this i don't know if you guys can observe something on him but uh, definitely he's not the same guy like something has changed like and, and it's not, because here with the four Swords, it's not depression, it's not that he's sad, no, it's just that I think that he needs a bit, a bit more of time to rest, you know, away from the cameras, away from the crowd, away from the lights, you know, away from all these external, um, you know, stimulations. I, I feel like, you know, being surrounded by a lot of noise and a lot of lights and a lot of running from here to here you know for him it can get a bit it can give him a sort of headache i see him having some headaches or i see him like feeling uncomfortable and just like frowning a lot you know and, and just not being you know feeling irritable irritable you know um just feeling very annoyed like i don't want to be here like but i have to be here nevertheless you know so a bit low in energy but yeah i think that is is the lack of rest um and it's also it has to do also probably with him refusing to rest there's something about him being very uh, stubborn but but yeah so if you do notice that he's a bit erratic like don't worry it's just that you know he could have this this moments you know these moments um but but yeah I, I definitely hear with the nine of pentacles um i think that the, the, there there are a lot of there's a lot of recognition coming from Li, for lino as well um when it comes to thinking about how much he had um he had accomplished this year but there's also, I don't know why, um, there's something here with the full card, you know, and and with this accident, I don't know why I get that, because of this, you know, it could be a very traumatic situation, having, having an accident, you know, somehow this had triggered some, some sensibility in him, you know, something that probably he had been like trying not to think about this, you know, and trying not to think about life and death situations, you know, now that we are in Scorpio season, you know, thinking about like how fragile life is, how how death is around us, you know, so I think that probably this is how he he's still shook by this, you know, because this was like, a, a, you know, a, a very aggressive situation you know so maybe him thinking about life and death you know so definitely i think that he probably is thinking about death you know and there's something about him maybe starting to notice a lot of things about his life and also reflecting a lot about his life how life is short you know how 
one day we are here and another day we are gone. You know, there's something about him being, getting a bit philosophical with this. Uh, but I also see him very closed off. I don't think he realizes this uh, and I don't think that he talks about this with people. But I feel like this, this, there's this energy around him that probably this traumatic event he had brought this to light to him you know something that he was sort of repressing um because definitely all the cards that he has in here are all about him working and working and being better and being whatever everyone wants wants of him you know him trying to be better and better and better and working on himself working on his skills you know being available uh, being present, you know, being very responsible, being very serious. It's like this This year it had been very productive when it comes to work. But when it comes to emotions and relationships, I honestly I see him very lonely. Um, because honestly, I don't see someone or a group of people or someone that he's like, okay, yeah, this year I... I, I made this, like I, I had this conclusion about relationships. I think that when it comes to connections and relationships, he still doesn't have that special experiences. He relates everything to work. You know, probably the people that he knows, the people that he, he hangs out with, you know, it's often all because of work. So... Or he feels like he has to work all this time of being of service all the time for these people that he cares about. So there's something about, like, it's not about, like, how oh, I'm enjoying my time with the people that I love. It's more like, okay, I'm working and at the same time I'm hanging out with the people that I like or the people that I usually am surrounded by, my family, friend. Um, co-workers you know there's something that it for him it's it's all mixed in the same category I would say so that's why there's something about him that when it comes to a real emotional connection I don't see it I, I don't see it like that I think that for him right now and this year probably in the beginning of the of the next year is all about responsibilities. It's all about okay, what can I do for the group? What can I do for myself? What can I do for my image? What can I do for the fans? So it's all about service. It's all about being productive, being the best, being successful. Um so yeah. Then with the cards of influence and and forgiveness, this is also these are cards that are also very very, I would say spiritual and at the same time I'm thinking this Mercury, this Mercury in Libra uh, influence. I think that also there's something about about Lino feeling the weight on his shoulders when it comes to being being an influence or being other people's influence. Um, I think that he's a very honest guy, but lately, probably if he has something that he wants to say, he's, he doesn't say it because he's like, okay, I don't want to influence negatively, uh, you know, the people that follow me. I, I, I realize that we are very influential or that there's a lot of people that are following me. So, you know, I have to you know, I better do not say certain things. So this is and this is something that I also picked when I when I I I am reading for him and I get this very nostalgic kind of vibe, you know, this very pessimist kind of vibe that is like, yeah, I know I'm loved. I know there's people that just want to know about me. But I also feel this obligation to not say everything that is on my mind. Because if I say I can scare people away. Like, I can scare some people with what I have to say. And probably a lot of people are not going to like what I have to say. So there, there are some, some past traumas. There are some wounds in him, definitely, that he is he's slowly like getting in touch with that part. Also, 
here with the card of forgiveness that in here this card it has the colors of the uh, or of the crown chakra that is also a very intuitive chakra so i think that when it comes to forgiveness there's something about him also allowing himself to forgive some people um and, and we know that sometimes a Scorpio can be very rigid when it comes to, you know, they see situations as good or bad, black or white, you know, there's no middle ground. So there's something about him probably not wanting to forgive something that happened or someone or some people. Um, so he's a bit hurt. He's a bit like, you know, um, affected. I would say, by this inability to forgive and forget as well. So even though he is being successful and he's going to be successful, he's going to be, you know, um, he's going to be okay. You know, there's a lot of stability for the group, so don't worry about him in that sense. But inside of him, there are some other layers to his person that he's like, you know, I... Um, it, you know, the fact that he doesn't say things or that he doesn't communicate certain things, it doesn't mean that he doesn't care or that these things don't move him, you know, because he's like, you know, I have feelings, I have emotions, I have, and, and definitely, probably this year has been very challenging for him mentally. It's just that with all this, you know, with all this success, with all this exposure comes a lot of responsibilities and he doesn't have the time and he doesn't want to also. He doesn't want to, you know, start with the, with the narrative of like, oh, I feel like I feel sad or I feel a bit down or I feel a bit remorseful about certain things, you know, and how fame is tough, you know, and having fans and I'm worried and I want to be the best. You know, he, he doesn't want to get on in the victim mode. He just wants to be left alone to sort of make sense of how he's feeling. But definitely there's a lot of things inside of him that he's like, you know, I better do not influence people with all these things that I feel like I cannot let go of because it's my problem, not their problem. All they need to know is that I'm available, that I'm working, that I'm standing, that I am productive, that I'm healthy. That's all they need to know of me. But when it comes to what's really going on he's inside his soul and how he's processing certain things, uh, certain fears, certain insecurities, certain a bit of loneliness, a bit of feeling un misunderstood at the same time and not wanting to be understood. Um, he is a very peculiar person. He is a very peculiar person and I think that he is not going to open up even though we have the four of pentacles in the middle in here that it says the keyword says open up. I think that Lino is not ready to open up yet. Not this year and probably not the beginning of the next because he wants to remain professional. And this is all you're going to see of him for now. Emotionally, I don't see him yet like having, uh, you know, some profound feelings or perceptions about something. He's just moving on and he's putting the effort and he's been hard working and he's been his best self. So, yeah, this is all I have for him today. I hope that you enjoyed it and I'll see you in my next video. Bye.